What's up, everyone? I'm Winslow. If you're new here, hope you uh, learned something. Hope I can teach you something. If you, uh, you've you been around for a while, thanks for coming back. Today, I want to introduce you to this idea I've been thinking of. Basically, it's that there are three layers to a drum break in three different levels of importance. So number one, the most important thing of a drum break is a kick in the snare. The second layer would be things like your shuffles, your ghost snares, your more forward percussion, like your bongos, something that you can have pulled back in the mix and it's still going to have, you know, nice definition, nice edge, clarity, that kind of thing. But they're not as important as the kick in the snare. And then third, you have your shakers, miscellaneous breaks, your layers, things going on like that. They just contribute to an overall sound. You would have you know, layers that enhance kind of the top two. So you might have something layering with the shuffles, but not as important just as like a, to change up the character. You might have like extra snaps or like clap sounds, white noise to layer with the snare, things like that. Here I have an example in a drum break I made. Let's listen to it a few times. Don't worry about the entire project. I'll play through it later. So yeah, all these things just pieced together. Loop it and let's go. So like I said, first layer, most important part of the Drake, the break of the kick and the snare. Next most important part, or just next important, would be like your hi-hats and your shuffles. They still have that definition, that transient edge to it, so they poke out, but they pull back in the mix. So all together, and basically at that point, you're kind of have a solid break sound and the rest that a uh, third layer would be like your shakers, your extra rides, symbols, anything else. So like we got here, got rides going, more shakers, more percussion, and they definitely fill up. Oh, let's mute it. <laughs> See, they're a bit less defined, kind of spaced around the stereo spectrum. They're a bit weaker sounding because on their own, there's a lot of frequencies cut out, but in the mix of the entire break, it makes sense. You know, it's all about context at this point. So again, we got kick, snare, extras. Yeah, so think of that when you're trying to build your own breaks, when you're listening to other people's tracks, listen with this idea in mind and you'll see basically how everyone does this. And it might not be something you think about, but now that you know you have that idea going, you can be you can pay more attention to it. There's always gonna be a kick and snare are gonna be the loudest part, the strongest part of a drum break, unless you're going for like some esoteric kind of sound into where they're kind of minuscule and then other things are coming in, you know, but for demonstration purposes, yeah. Then you're going to have your shuffles, your ghost kick, your ghost snare, things like that. Pull back in the mix, still nice and defined, just a little bit quieter. Then you have your extra percussion, your shakers, your layered breaks, things that might be, that are going to be less defined in the background. They're going to be pan left to right, a bit spacier. They're basically just to fill up the sound of the drum break and to contribute to an overall, you know, thicker sound. But yeah, that's just an idea. So three levels to a drum break. Just to reiterate, number one, kick snare or a clap if you have that replacing the snare. Your shuffles, your hi-hats, what have you. Strong rhythmic percussion then your extra, your ancillary percussion, it just is there in support and to fill up sound. 
So give that a try. Let me know what you think. This one's fairly short. I hope it was useful. Uh, yeah, I'll play this drum break and then I'll just, I'll play the project so you can hear it. Yep. And I'll just let you hear the whole thing a little bit, or not the whole thing, but a little bit of it. shuffles and whatnot pop in in the well not that was just like a shaker but yeah or you can see what's important what pull back what's there in support and what's Yeah, so hope that helps. Hope that's useful. You know, just something to think about. Let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, that's it for me. Next week I have an EP. That's all. It's not it for me. Next week I have an EP coming out. Um, three tracks. Uh, there's a sample pack out. I'll make a little, short little video on that in a sec. Um, the bass in this track is from the sample pack. So, if you like how that sounds. But yeah, that's it. Thanks for uh, watching, and I'll see you in the next one.